And before we go, Latasha Brown, I wanted to switch gears to ask you about the longtime Texas Democratic Congress member Sheila Jackson Lee, who's died at the age of 74 of pancreatic cancer. She was a tireless fighter for civil rights and progressive caucus, uh, progressive causes throughout her 30 years in the U.S. House. Um, in 2002, Congress member Jackson Lee was an early and outspoken opponent of the invasion of Iraq. She was also an impassioned advocate for reparations. This is Sheila Jackson Lee. Black people in America are the descendants of Africans kidnapped and transported to the United States with the explicit complicity of the U.S. government and every arm of the United States lawmaking and law enforcement infrastructure. The dehumanizing and atrocities of slavery were not isolated occurrences, but mandated by federal laws that were codified and enshrined in the Constitution. The role of the federal government in supporting the institution of slavery and subsequent discrimination directed against blacks is an injustice that must be formally acknowledged and addressed. Natasha, if you mm. can talk about the legacy of this mm. remarkable Houston Congress member. Mm. If I can help somebody along the way, then my living has not been in vain. You know, I've been thinking about her this weekend. Um, it's actually, in this moment right now, I'm feeling very full. Um, she left a legacy of service. There was not a single time that we called her, or people that I know that were in the movement called her, and she did not respond. She has left a legacy of service, a legacy of love, that she was active, that not only when you talk about reparations, when you talk about the reason why we have Juneteenth as a holiday is because of her. If you look at some of the th pieces that she's led around economic development for small black, for small businesses and black-owned businesses, at the star worth of literally being on the front lines of making sure that women's rights were protected, that she has been an amazing servant of this country. She has been an amazing servant to her district and to the state of Texas. A giant has fallen. And so, I, as we lift up, I think that in that legacy, I hope that we continue the work that she did in terms of leading on reparations. That was a significant, a significant move. And she was literally relentless on it. If you've ever met her, if you knew her, you knew that she, she was someone that you could always depend on. And so I just lift up her family in this moment, the constituents, but for all of us, she is someone that will be greatly, greatly missed. Latasha Brown, we thank you so much for being with us, co-founder of Black Voters Matter, speaking to us from Atlanta, and Jim Zogby, longtime member of the Democratic National Committee. Next up, the International Court of Justice rules Israel's occupation of the West Bank and East Jerusalem is illegal. Stay with us.